thanks for watching and welcome to our third way of evaluating the Gaussian integral. And this way is very neat because it involves pure calculus. So no multivariable calculus at all, I promise. I know for the second one I said no multi, but I used it a little bit. This one just uses ordinary single integrals. And again, I would like to thank Keith Conrad for, you know, coming up with those ideas. Those are very, very cool. So, today we want to calculate, in this case, just like last time, the integral from 0 to infinity of e of negative x squared dx. And this one is based on a kind of neat idea, because notice this is an improper integral, and so, in particular, what this means, it's really the integral from zero to a very large number. So, in particular, let a of t be the integral from zero to t, e of negative x squared dx. And you'll see in a second why we need to square it. And the question is, how are a and j related? Oh, there's an AJ's restaurant, by the way, that's delicious, but that's uh, <laughs> something else. So how are A and J related? Well, notice, if you plug in T equals to infinity here, you get J squared, because you get the integral from zero to infinity of whatever we want squared, so it's just this thing squared. So A infinity equals to J squared. So, in particular, what we would like to do, we would like to find another way of calculating a, so another formula for a of t, and then we'll just plug in t equals to infinity. Now, the reason I wrote this in this form is because this is very nice, you know, to differentiate because it allows us to use the Chen Lu. <laughs> What a coincidence. And in particular, also the FTC. So let's calculate that. So a prime of t, that is the integral of the outside. So two times the integral from 0 to t, e of negative x squared dx, times the derivative of the inside, which is just e of negative t squared by the fundamental theorem of calculus. The fundamental loop. <laughs> I don't know. But, so this is equal to that. And so in particular, this equals to 2 e of negative t squared integral from 0 to t e of negative x squared dx. And this is kind of nice. It involves e of negative t squared. And now what we would like to do, somehow we would like to turn this t into something that doesn't involve t. And for this, let's just use a u substitution. So u sub, namely, just let y be x over t. Then what do we get? So in other words, x equals to ty. So first of all, dx equals to, again, t is a constant. So think like 2y. So this becomes t dy and let's now do the endpoints so if x equals to 0 then ty equals to 0 because x equals to ty and while t is very big in particular it's positive so y has to be 0 and if x equals to t, so you see the lower point of the integral is 0, the upper point is x equals to t, then this means that ty equals to t. Again, t is very large, in particular positive, so y equals to 1. And so in the end, the integral, so a prime of t, becomes 2 e of negative t squared, our new endpoints are 0 and 1. And then e of negative x squared, 
But I'd like to remind you that x equals to ty. <laughs> I just realized. Uh, thank you. Next. Okay. <laughs> so ty, and we get e of negative t squared y squared t dy. And here's a nice thing. Those two terms they look pretty similar, right? So we have e of negative t squared and e of negative t squared y squared. So why not just put this inside? And in the end, we get the following that equals to integral from 0 to 1 of 2t e of negative t squared 1 plus y squared dy. Now, in another video, like the previous video, I think I just found an explicit antiderivative. Uh, we will sort of do that, but in a slightly different way, because notice this equals to the following. So remember that this uh, t squared here is a constant. So, um, oh, not quite. What I'm trying to say is this becomes minus e of negative t squared. 1 plus y squared over 1 plus y squared dt. Because the point is, the antiderivative with respect to y is pretty hard to find. But the antiderivative with respect to t is easy to find because we have this t squared and the derivative is 2t. So that's why I wrote it in this form. And now let's just put the dt out of the integral. So this becomes minus d over dt. Integral from 0 to 1 of e of minus t squared 1 plus y squared over 1 plus y squared dy. And this whole jump Notice you're integrating it with respect to y, so in the end it becomes a function of t. So let's call this sucker, let's call it b of t. You bet it's b of t. So what have we found in this case? We found that a prime of t equals to some gibberish equals to minus b prime of t. So in other words, a and b, they're not very far off. A prime of t equals to minus b prime of t. And well, anti-differentiating, this just means that a is minus b plus a constant. What does that mean? Remember that a is sort of the integral that we want. So we get integral from 0 to t e of minus x squared dx squared equals to minus integral from 0 to 1 e of minus t squared 1 plus y squared over 1 plus y squared dy okay that's just b right plus a constant and here's a cool thing now we will use two different ways and in other words, we'll plug in t equals to two different values. One will give us the value of our constant. The other one will give us our answer, actually. So it's very neat. I don't know how people came up with that, but it's a really cool method. Because notice, in the end, we want to plug in t equals to infinity. So that's already out of the question. But... Uh, first of all, one easy value we can plug in is, well, t equals to zero. Because if t equals to zero, this just becomes integral from zero to zero of some chunk, and integral from zero to zero is just zero. So integral, so zero equals to minus integral from zero to one. And look, if you plug in t equals to zero here, you get e of minus 0, and which becomes 1. So which becomes 1 plus 1 plus y squared dy plus a constant. But the point is this we can now integrate. This just becomes minus arctangent of y 
from 0 to 1 plus a constant, and that becomes minus arctangent of 1, which is pi over 4, plus arctangent of 0, which is 0, and that equals to c, and this whole gibberish equals to 0, because we have that. And therefore, our constant c is just pi over 4. That's not the answer. That's the value for a constant. And in particular, what we get here is that the integral from 0 to t of e of negative x squared dx squared equals to minus integral from 0 to 1 e of negative t squared 1 plus y squared over 1 plus y squared dy plus pi over 4. So that was on the one hand. On the one hand, plugging t equals to 0, we get this. On the other hand, remember we want our answer, which is a of infinity. So now let's just plug in t equals to infinity. Well, let's see what happens. Well, if t equals to infinity, we get integral from 0 to infinity of this, which we just call j. So j squared equals to minus, let's see, what happens here? So again, this is a positive number, and now for every fixed y, if you let t goes to infinity here, you get, in other words, integral from 0 to 1 of e of negative infinity squared, 1 plus y squared, over 1 plus y squared dy. Okay. Lights are almost going off, but not quite. And now, um, <laughs> pi m in the dark. Um, for every fixed y, this function pointwise is 0. Now, it's not necessarily true that the integral will also be 0, but it is true because it's what's called the dominated convergence theorem. As long as those functions are less than a function that's sort of independent of t and whose integral exists and is finite, then we're fine. So by one thing called the dominant convergence theorem, this thing is e actually true. And so indeed, we get we can naively plug in t equals to infinity here and we're fine. Now this function is 0, so it's integral from 0 to 1 of 0 plus pi over 4, and that equals to pi over 4. So what have we found? j squared equals to pi over 4. Again, usual gibberish. This function here that we wanted is positive. And therefore, j equals to square root of pi over 2. Right before the other line goes off. Uh, and so, I hope you liked it. And if you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.